Hello everyone. Welcome to today's tutorial where I'll guide you through the process of creating and importing an HTTP custom cloud config link. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our helpful tutorials in the future. Let's get started. First, we need to install the HTTP custom app. Head over to your mobile app store, search for HTTP custom and install it. Once it's installed, go ahead and launch the app. Upon launching the app, you'll find yourself on the home screen. Now it's time to set up your config file. In my case, I'll be using a UDP config file. Click on the plus icon, then select the save config label. Give your config file a name and save it. Next, let's upload the config file to the cloud using Google Drive. Make sure you have the Google Drive app installed and launched. Once you're on the Google Drive home screen, click on the plus icon to proceed. Now, click on the Upload label to upload the config file you created. You can find the file in the HTTP custom folder. Once the file is uploaded, it's essential to adjust its visibility settings. Click on the three dots located in the top right corner of the file. A menu with various options will appear. Select and click on the Manage Access label to proceed. Now, change the general access settings from Restricted to Public so that anyone with the link can use the cloud config link. Copy the public link of the config file, then open Notepad to edit it. You can follow along with the video on the screen to ensure you create a valid link. Once edited, copy the link. Now go back to the HTTP custom app and click on the hamburger icon to proceed. Select short URL maker and a box will pop up. Paste the edited link into the box and click on the Generate label to create your HTTP custom cloud config link. Once the cloud config link is generated, copy it. Then click on the plus icon button and select cloud config. A box will pop up. Paste the cloud config link to import it. Now that the file is imported, click on the start button to connect to the VPN. And there you have it. You've successfully created and imported your HTTP custom cloud config link. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more informative content. Thanks for watching and happy browsing.